people talk about decentralization and decentralizing money or you know or networks or whatever. But see if you really look at a lot of decentralized things, they're not decentralized. And may say what we're what we've done, there's not even a a data structure that's shared between any two computers that's the same. It's completely it's like a Venn diagram. It's completely decentralized. That makes things very difficult. Now when you when you build something that becomes completely decentralized, it by default becomes autonomous. Because there's nothing for you to adjust. You can't really go in and just tweak something or ban someone from the network because you don't know who they are. That paradox or you know, people could talk about paradigm shift, but it's a paradox, I think, for people who would like to control the the system or control the network or control its growth. And that paradox is there isn't actually anyone to attack. So the the, the way to attack it would be find the developers and just put a gun to their eye and tell them to release a piece of code that will wipe the network out. And that becomes an interesting challenge because if you've got something that's completely autonomous, it, it's got a, a level of intelligence. It's not artificial intelligence. There's no such thing as artificial intelligence, actually. But it's got a level of intelligence that allows you to build in protection into the network. At the moment, if you try, if you're a human and interfere with a made safe network, it, it just throws that computer off and ignores you. So you just do yourself damage. But in terms of adding code to the network, it's very close. And I think once we're launched and we've got time to think again, the network will refuse updates that don't improve it. Now, when you get to that stage, it's who who can stop it? 